in today's video, we're gonna be using Vengage to design a flyer for some of my content about how to make a Microsoft Word document accessible. Welcome to the Accessibility Guide channel. My name is Sean Jordison, and let's jump right in. If I go down to layouts instead of flyers, I can choose a blank canvas. I can then set my page size. We'll leave it on letter for now. Now we can either directly apply a template that we want to use, or we could just customize it completely from scratch. So I can throw in my heading one in here, and we're gonna say uh, the accessibility guy, top tips for Microsoft Word. And let's go ahead and center this content. We can move it up to the top of the page. I'm going to expand my boxes, and we'll put Microsoft Word on one line. Next, I want to adjust my font to match my brand, uh, and I like to use uh, Monteserrat personally. And then we could adjust the size to be a little bit bigger if we want, and that's perfect. We could also choose the background now that it's like currently white, and we could change the color uh, to whatever we want. Additionally, I wanna make sure we have all the way black. There we go, much better. And then my background color, I want it a little more opaque. Now let's upload an image. I'm simply going to take my uh, logo and drop it in here. We also have the ability to use the background remover if we wanted to. So I put this image in here. We can resize it any way we want. I'm gonna put it in the top left corner and then let's resize this box at the top. Perfect. Now we could select our image and let's select the alt text button. I'm going to say uh, the accessibility guy logo and hit save. So right now I could also check my tag type for this heading by selecting the text tag and it's already marked as an H1. So this is already doing really good. All right, let's go ahead and add in a shape or line. Let's do a line. And I just wanna add this underneath my, uh, my content for some visual space. I think you could all tell by now that I am not a graphic designer. Let's give this line some alt text uh, and it's currently marked as decorative. That's perfect. We'll just leave it as is. So what are the Accessibility Guy's top tips? Uh, well, let's let's actually see if there's some elements we can put in here first. Let's see, I do want to use a list. There's different things we could put in here. Let's just select this one. This is kind of cool. It has different images that we could choose. Let's see what happens when I hit replace. Awesome, so it actually has a bunch of different icons in here. This is great. All right, well, let me um, develop my content first. I'm going to uh, delete that little bucket out. What about an interactive list? I think for this example, we're just gonna keep it very simple. Let's change our font over to Monteserrat, and then we will also, I don't know why I'm in there. Let's double click this, we'll make this a bulleted list. Like I said, Monteserrat, make it larger. And we'll start, apply styles to, apply styles to your contents in Word. You know, we're just gonna go ahead and add in another image here and put it on the bottom. All right, so we've got our heading, um, we've got our contents. Let's see, let's add in another element. I'm gonna copy this heading level one. We'll make it a heading level two instead. And we'll say top tips. We can left justify it, move our list item up. And clearly I am not a designer, but this is something quick that we can throw together. Now what we wanna do is go to file, accessibility, and check accessibility. And this brings up a, a built-in accessibility checker, which is super amazing. I'm going to select check my design, and it looks like it passes color contrast. It wants me to manually check uh, my alt text. Okay, perfect, so in this window I'm missing alt text. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this logo as decorative for now. All right, and now we have checked all of the decorative non-content. Uh, let's check the tag order really quick. We've got text, image, I actually want image first. I'm, so I'm just gonna click and drag it up. So our image is first, our heading tag is next, and then top tips needs to be moved up too. All right, so we've checked out the tag order. Now we can manually check uh, the document has a logical reading order. We have our headings 
applied, we've got our H1 and our H2, and we can see this little tag element at the top that says H2. So these heading tags follow best practice. Use of color, uh, we're not conveying any content via color. We don't have any images of text, so we'll mark that. Our document title, I think that's this window right up here. So we're gonna say uh, top tips for MS Word, that will be our title. And then what is our document language? It is set to English, that's perfect. So we can mark that checkbox. Now we can go to tag order. And then simulator if we wanna check different versions of the color contrast. And now let's, uh, let's download this file as a PDF. And now uh, let's do what we always do. Let's open up the tags panel. And first things first, we have a document tag which contains all the elements. We have a figure tag. Let's check the alt text by right clicking the figure tag and selecting properties. Amazing, we have the accessibility guy logo. We have heading one at the top. <clears throat> we have our heading two top tips. And then we have our properly nested list items. Uh, so this document looks great. Let's check the metadata. I'm going to go to the menu button and then select document properties. And under description, we have our title. We are missing the author, subject, and keywords, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add these in because I like to put them and select okay. Now, let's run the accessibility checker. I'm going to select prepare for accessibility and let's check for accessibility, start checking. And this document is passing. Adobe Acrobat. Let's go ahead and launch the Pack 2024 tool and let's test it in here. And looky there, we have a passing PDF UA and WCAG report. That is amazing with no additional work. Uh, that concludes today's brief video on how to create an accessible flyer using Vengage. If you wanna try out a free trial of Vengage, check out the link in the description of this video. And if you wanna find out how I can help you get accessible, there's a link in the description for that too. And as always, I can be your champion for inclusion. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.